Hey, it's your boy King A. Snow Slate, Noble Chronicles. It's your dude, the host, the most, this. Dysfunctional, dysfunctional work. Now, by request, they hit me on the IG on this room. Go ahead and knock the one out. Capricorn Aquarius female cusp and. Scorpio? Man. Man. Yeah, you on point. All right. All right. Um, what do we call this cuss? Have we nicknamed this one? I don't think we nicknamed Capricorn. Don't name it. Anything else we named already, bro. You're giving names and swapping them, dropping them. All right. What, what's the Capricorn? Who's the Capricorn? Uh, Captain Marvel, female. Okay. And Aquarius was uh, Catwoman. Named by you. Named by me. All right. So we have a Captain Marvel and a Catwoman mm -hmm. against a, a rugged, handsome guy. Batman. Batman. All right. Let's see. So, in this cuss, this is funny. So, you have a alpha woman with another alpha woman, but the other alpha woman is out for self. She has selfish intentions. Mm -hmm. See, Captain Marvel knows how strong she is. Knows she wants to save the world. Knows she should be the head when saving the world. Catwoman is alpha, but she only wants to do what benefits her. Mm. She only likes to do what is going to better her situation. Mm. She thinks maybe, maybe not. But if it betters my situation, it's worth the risk. All right? So you got Batman doing Batman things, swooping through the night, saving the day, being master detective. That means he's always thinking. So he meets this, he meets this Captain Marvel, Catwoman mix, and he's like, "Oh my gosh, she's sexy. She's strong. She got this little passionate thing she do. It gets under my little my, my body armor, my shell. But I'm smarter than that. I'm smarter than just running into the situation with my eyes closed and my head blown off. So I got to think about it. So as he's thinking about it." He's like, well, hmm, how should I approach this woman? Should I appeal to the cat woman side, which means she's just out for what she's out to get, or should I appeal to the Captain Marvel side and be like, look, I can help you save the world? So I'm going to jump in this because I've dated this sign, and I'm very familiar with this sign for the most part. Really, the Capricorn side of this really takes over the Aquarius. You think so? I know for a fact. Okay. So the Capricorn side is the side that's going to come out when it has something to do with business. When it has mm -hmm. something to do with household structure and the way of living this series, that's going to come out. Everything else is going to be on the Aquarius side for things that don't really matter that much to at the moment. So when I did the Capricorn Aquarius, I saw the Aquarius fun side of her, but then when it came down to business, she was able to flip a switch. Now, she's not going to be the potent the potent. Capricorn that takes on people as projects mm. like and, and organize mm. things to a T. Okay. What she would do is she going to be her own project. Okay. And she's going to allow you to come in her vicinity and be freefully seeing what she's doing at the Aquarius side. So she's going to have let you have a good time with her mm -hmm. and everything like that. But you still have to fit her organization, her plan, instead of the Capricorn taking you on naturally and putting you in and recruiting you. So the thing about the Capricorn Aquarius that I met, that's a girl who owned the shop, was that uh, I didn't even know she had Cap in there at all. You thought she was a straight Aquarius? Straight Aquarius, until it came down to her business. Mine. Yeah, her business mind, her, uh, her goals in life and everything okay. like that. Everything else was just aloof and chilling and just relaxing. Mm -hmm. I, she didn't have a lot of passion, passion up front that mm -hmm. kind of bothered me and stuff because she was so laid back of it. Okay. And she really didn't give me no alternatives unless it has something to do with, like I say, a household or her business. Other than that, everything was just a hippie type party with her. Okay. So one side is just the cap is just her, what she Dominic. has to do. That's what dominate. That's what she has to do. And the Aquarius is pretty much her approach on things, meaning that you have to pursue this woman pretty hard to let her know. And if you like her and she don't feel the same way, she she's quick to tell you, hey, I ain't long know you that long. Mm. Why so serious? Why so serious? Okay. So, with that being said, I have to say that this uh, relationship, it, it, it threw me for a loop for a mm -hmm. second because the Scorpio has many options and, and, and they mostly get what they want opposed to what the person pursuing them wants. But this pursuer is Batman. So, he always, 
gets this person. And like, I, like he said, since the cap is more dominant than an Aquarius, then that makes this relationship even more stable. Mm. So instead of her being her, her ground sign being stable, it's her ground and her air sign that makes her relax, calm, cool. So Batman and, and this, this, this woman, Cap Aquarius, I give them I give them a one and a half. I think the only issue I see is the, is the Scorpio goes, uh, uh, the Scorpio comes to her and tries to dictate her business. Okay. Her lifestyle of living and stuff, because Scorpios can do that. Mm -hmm. They can have a strong dictatorship, especially men, and want everything to be for themselves. The Aquarius will allow the Scorpio to come in and have fun with her. They right. will have fun, and she will she will be attracted to him, right, off top. But will he overstep his boundaries and try to be a little bit more vocal on the areas that she felt like her cap is over? Because that part I couldn't break with her. Mm. Her business. You, you can get on the Aquarius side and chill with me, have a good time. It was all good. I felt like she didn't care about nothing. But when I tapped into the Capricorn side, a wall was up. And I'm just not sure that a Scorpio, being all or nothing, will be just satisfied with her personal life and not getting into her business like, as a serious relationship. Now, they just play a player. They're chilling. They're just knocking each other off. Right. It's going to be amazingly great. Right. But for that, I have to give it two up. Mm. And... One down. One down. Okay. I think. I think. I just think that Scorpio will probably look back and, and smile at her Capricorn side and say she had no business because they like a strong woman. And then Aquarius will loosen up a little bit to let Scorpio not get bored and have a good time. Okay. Well, it's your boy King Ace, No Slate, No Chronicles. And it's your boy this dysfunctional. Like, comment, subscribe, press the notification bell so you know when we drop a new videos. Peace. Peace.